Hello everyone. In my previous video, I will describe about electronic configuration, radicals, compound, molecule, molecular formula, and how to write molecular formula of the compound. Or simply classification of elements. And we also discuss about physical and chemical change. In our surrounding, several permanent changes are going on. That change causes new substance are formed, which has different physical and chemical properties than initial matter. Such type of changes are called chemical changes. And all chemical changes are cause of chemical reaction. Therefore, we can say that different chemical changes which are going around us are called chemical reaction. In chemical reaction, new molecules are formed either by combination or decomposition or splitting or by displacement. By any process, if new matter form or new molecules and compounds are formed, then it is called chemical change and chemical reaction. At first, we describe about chemical reaction and then how to write chemical changes, how to express chemical reaction. In chemistry, different language is used to express chemical change, which is known as a language of chemistry. Like a symbol, molecular formula, word equation, formula equations are used to represent chemical change which is known as language of chemistry. At first, we discuss about chemical reaction. And simply we can define it, chemical reaction as a Various chemical change or chemical changes which are going around us or which are occurring around us are called chemical reaction. Why? Because if, chemical, if there is lack of chemical reaction, then it can't be called as a chemical change. Chemical reaction is the main cause of chemical change. It causes chemical change occurs and therefore we define it as a all the chemical changes which are going around us are called chemical reaction. As for example, rusting of iron, it is chemical change. Decomposition of limestone, when limestone heated then it changes to new matter which is called chemical reaction other we can write solidification of egg by boiling it is also called chemical change or chemical reaction several chemical reactions are or all the chemical change are caused by chemical reaction and here how chemical reaction is represented in chemistry? It is represented by chemical equation. 
like in mathematics we express various type of mathematical equation these equations are called a language of mathematics the by same way various changes in chemistry represented by equation which is called a chemical equation and it is or it belong to language of chemistry and what is equation here the chemical reaction or equation is here the the equation which represent chemical reaction or chemical change are called chemical equation and we can write the expression used to represent chemical change or chemical reaction is called chemical equation it means here yeah, chemical expression which are used to express chemical reaction are called chemical equation as for example in mathematics what we can write mathematical equation x plus y equal to 5 in chemistry x plus y equal to 5 not found but some element like a hydrogen combined with oxygen then it form water it is chemical change hydrogen oxygen is different kind of matter water form here is new kind of matter and it is now called chemical equation and that chemical equation is expressed by two methods or two ways and here we write it can be expressed by two ways it can be means what we know that chemical equation can be expressed by two ways what are these by using simple word then it is called word equation and how we define if chemical equation expressed by using simple word language word general literal word then it is known as what word equation if chemical equation expressed by using word then it is called word equation word equation as for example here hydrogen combine with oxygen combine then it new it form new substance which is called water suppose when carbon burn the here in atmosphere oxygen is supporter of burning therefore we can write when carbon burn in air or carbon plus oxygen then what it gives carbon dioxide new type of matter is formed there suppose when a lime stone heated lime stone is also called marble it is chemical compound when it is heated then it change into lime and carbon dioxide or quick lime and carbon dioxide and here we found that in these all equation only simple words are used then it is called what word equation and in all kind of chemical reaction or when we express chemical equation then here we found that 
two substances are found in any reaction. Listen, in any chemical reaction, certain substances take part in a reaction. Listen, chemical reaction is change and it's, it is represented by direction. That head of arrow is called direction of change. And the substance which take part in a chemical reaction, which cause of chemical reaction occurs, these are called factors of chemical reaction. And the substance which take part in chemical reaction are called reactants. And which are formed called product. Always here, reactants change into product. And that arrow represents direction of change. And simply we can define a reactant as a the chemical substance which take part in chemical reaction are called reactant and product means what the chemical substance which are formed in chemical reaction here in this equation we found that reactants and product both are expressed by using simple word and it is called a word equation of that and in this way we can define and identify reactant and product in any chemical reaction those substances which take part in chemical reaction which involve in chemical change are called reactants and new substance which are formed called product and other way to express chemical equation is formula equation it is also known as symbolic equation if we express these chemical change or any chemical change by symbol or a molecular formula then it is called formula equation and here we write If chemical reaction expressed or represented by using formula, formula means here we write molecular formula or symbol, so using symbol or molecular formula if chemical reaction expressed by using symbol or molecular formula then it is called formula equation listen in any formula equation, same, these all reactant and products are found. But instead of word here, we write symbol or molecular formula. Here hydrogen, hydrogen is elemental gas, diatomic gas. And therefore, we, are, we write H2. Oxygen is elemental diatomic gas. And it is represented by O2. The hydrogen plus oxygen that gives water water represented by h2o molecular formula of water is h2o another equation is here carbon and oxygen carbon simple monoatomic and here carbon is represented by c oxygen by o2 and carbon dioxide here third equation is here given limestone is chemically calcium carbonate that decomposed and gives calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. 
तो दीज इक्वेशन्स आर कॉल फॉर्मूला इक्वेशन और सिंबॉलिक इक्वेशन एंड अनदर फैक्ट वी शुड नो ए वाइल राइटिंग फॉर्मूला इक्वेशन इफ नंबर ऑफ रिएक्टेंट एटम्स एंड प्रोडक्ट एटम्स आर इक्वल देन इट इज कॉल्ड बैलेंस्ड इक्वेशन एंड इफ दीज रिएक्टेंट एटम्स एंड प्रोडक्ट एटम्स आर नॉट इक्वल देन इट इज कॉल्ड अनबैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन ऑलवेज वी यूज बैलेंस केमिकल रिएक्शन टू एक्सप्रेस एनी काइंड ऑफ केमिकल चेंज If we found unbalance, then we balance it, and then only we use to represent chemical reaction. In the next video, we discuss about how to balance chemical reaction by heat and trial method, partial equation method, and other oxidation number or ion electrons method. These all we describe. in a related chapter and here in this topic we should know about what is balanced and unbalanced chemical reaction and here we describe about balanced and unbalanced chemical reaction if reactant atoms and product atoms are not equal on that condition the chemical reaction is called unbalanced reaction and if reactant and product atoms are equal then it is called balanced chemical reaction and how we know it is balanced and unbalanced the by counting number of atoms in a reactant and products at first balanced chemical reaction this and here we write the chemical reaction chemical reaction means always we know about formula equation word equation are not used to express chemical change and the chemical reaction having equal number of reactants and product atoms are called balanced chemical reaction as for example when lime stone decomposed then it gives lime and carbon dioxide and how we find it is balanced or unbalanced the simply we count number of different atoms present in it in a reactant it is reactant and here these both are here product in a reactant number of oxygen is 3 and in product 2 1 3 oxygen number oxygen atoms are equal carbon 1 then carbon 1 calcium 1 calcium 1 it means it is balanced chemical reaction another we can write carbon plus oxygen carbon dioxide here also two and oxygen and one carbon in reactant one carbon and two oxygen in product other is here unbalanced chemical reaction and here we write the chemical reaction which has different number of reactants and product atoms are called unbalanced or known as 
अनबैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन और रिएक्शन बोथ वी कैन राइट एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन कंबाइंड देन इट गिव्स वाटर इट इज अनबैलेंस्ड वाई बिकॉज इन रिएक्टेंट टू ऑक्सीजन बट इन प्रोडक्ट ओनली वन हाइड्रोजन इज सेम बट ऑक्सीजन नंबर इज अनइक्वल अदर वी कैन राइट सोडियम कंबाइंड विथ क्लोरिन गैस देन इट फॉर्म कॉमन साल्ट और सोडियम क्लोराइड and here this is also unbalanced because two chlorine in a reactant and only one chlorine is found in product and such type of unbalanced chemical equation should be balanced in chemistry and in next video we discuss about how to balance it by different methods and here we discuss about what are advantage or which information we obtained from balanced chemical reaction or information obtained from balanced chemical reaction in or by observing chemical reaction suppose here we consider any chemical reaction hydrogen plus oxygen that gives water and firstly we balance it see and which information here we found the information first information is in which ratio reactants combine reactants and product are formed like when we write only one one then it is not complete reaction why because in which ratio hydrogen and oxygen combine to give product is unknown but when we balance it then what we can write two hydrogen molecules and one oxygen molecules combine then two molecule of water is formed and first information is the ratio of reactants and products are known first information we obtained from balanced chemical reaction ratio of reactants and product in any kind of reaction other we can write know about the no from balanced chemical reaction मोलिकुलर फर्मुला ऑफ मोलिकुलर फर्मुला ऑफ रिएक्टेंट्स एंड प्रोडक्ट्स और रिएक्ट वी नो द मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला ऑफ रिएक्टेंट एंड प्रोडक्ट फ्रॉम बैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन third information we obtained from balanced chemical equation like a type of reaction or how products are formed by combining reactants or by split dissociation of reactants or by displacement of reactants by which method products are formed here by combining form here by combining form but lime stone that get decomposed and it gives lime and carbon dioxide such type of reaction is called decomposition and that is called type of reaction other also we can write and nature of reaction some reaction are unidirectional or goes only one direction called irreversible reaction in some reaction after certain time product reverse into reactant called reversible reaction in some chemical reaction we have to give heat then it is called endothermic reaction some chemical reaction produce heat these are called exothermic reaction that can be relation here and it is no no nature here not come there Nature is here a limitation of that, and which type of chemical reaction? Fourth number information that we obtain from 
balanced chemical reaction is here. <coughs> Molecular weight of reactants and products are in any ratio suppose here 40 and here 100 am you found that is 100 gram when calcium carbonate decompose then it gives 56 gram calcium carbonate and 44 gram carbon dioxide is found that is how molecular weight of chemical reaction after that some limitations are found that we can't I know by observing balanced chemical reaction that is called limitation of balanced chemical reaction and which type of information can't be known from balanced chemical reaction as first year given it could not explain about nature of reaction or chemical reaction which type of nature like a exothermic or endothermic or reversibility that is unknown by or in chemical reaction such type of natures are not explained other we can write here physical state of reactants and products like a reactants are solid or liquid or gas that is unknown here other is here rate of chemical reaction some chemical reaction as bad are very fast some are very or too slow that can't be expressed by observing here balanced chemical reaction other we can write here all the reactions that we write in balanced chemical reaction may not here given a reaction and here we have all reactions may not occur in actual practice actually and in copy in board we can write all balanced chemical reaction or we write all type of chemical reaction by using formula and balance it but actually these all reaction occurs in nature or not having tendency to react or not that can't be explained by observing here balanced chemical equation here we know that these all chemical reaction that we write or balance these all are actually occurs in nature but it may not occur therefore it is called limitations and to remove these limitations some modifications are made that is called modification in chemical reaction or balanced chemical reaction so what are we are given modification at first for solid in a reactants or product it does not matter here which writes as for liquid we are in bracket along with reactant we write L and gas we write G 
and it help to express physical state of reactant and product reversible some chemical reaction reverse that is after certain time product change into reactant reversible reactions are expressed by double headed arrow that is both direction that change is going on and here we write double headed arrow to express it third number here nature of heat expressed by adding symbol of heat triangle if reaction is exothermic then we have to give heat and that heat is added in a reactant side if the reaction is exothermic gives heat during change then we add that symbol of heat in the side of your product and other here given that here direction of change mentioned other how these chemical reaction or how we express our energy or important factors used in reaction can be expressed like a hydrogen and chlorine both are gas diatomic gas in presence of light it gives to hcl which is also gas it means what that light factor is most important for such a reaction and in this way these are called modification in chemical reaction in the next video we discuss about how to write balanced chemical reaction and types of chemical reaction thank you